You may already know that selections play an extremely important part in photo editing. The basic concept is simple. If you want to perform an operation on a specific section of an image, you'll need to select it. In PhotoPlus, there are a wide range of available selection options. Today, I'll use this image to demonstrate the basic selection tools and techniques. So, let's get started. You'll find the selection tools on the Tools toolbar on the left. If you look closely, you'll see the toolbar is split into sections and the selection tools are in the second section. First, we have the Shape Selection tools and the Rectangle Selection tool is selected by default. Click the arrow to see other Shape Selection tools, including the Ellipse. If you hover over Quick Shape Selection tools, you'll see a flyout full of various selection shapes. Let's have a go at making a selection. Choose one of the Shape Selection tools. I'll choose Ellipse. Then, hover over your image and you'll see the selection cursor appear. Click and drag to draw out a selection of your chosen size. A selection area is indicated by a dashed outline. To cancel a selection and select nothing, hold down the control key on your keyboard and press D. Alternatively, you can use the select menu at the top of the workspace. Here are lots of useful options for creating and modifying selections. See Photo Plus Help for more information. To cancel a selection, click Deselect on the menu. To constrain the rectangle or ellipse selection tools to a square or circle respectively, hold down the control key on your keyboard while you drag. Now I've defined a selection, I'll apply an adjustment from the Adjustments tab on the right. Today, I'll apply a Brightness Contrast Adjustment. If I drag the sliders, you can see that the content of my selection is the only part of my image to update. The rest remains unchanged because it isn't selected. Remember to reselect the background layer once you've applied an adjustment. A unique feature of the Quick Shape Selection tools is the ability to morph the original shape in a number of different ways. Let's see this in action. For a better view, I'll zoom in. Select the Zoom tool from the Standard toolbar and drag on your image to zoom in. From the Quick Shape Selection Tools flyout, choose a shape. I'll choose the star. Click and drag on the image to make your selection. You'll see some nodes around the edge of the shape. The number of nodes will vary depending on the shape you've chosen. Hover over one of these nodes until the cursor changes to a plus sign and then drag. Each of these nodes influences the selection in a different way. The best thing to do is experiment and see what works for your image. You can see that the selection now looks completely different. In the Lasso Tools flyout on the Tools toolbar are a range of tools which allow you to draw selections. With the Freehand Selection tool selected, Click on your image where you want the selection to start and drag around your object. When you release the mouse button, the selection is closed automatically to create an irregularly shaped selection area. Sometimes you may need to adjust the position of the marquee without affecting underlying pixels. Click on the selection and drag it to its new location. At the moment, it is just the marquee that moves and not its contents. The Move tool is for pushing pixels around and you can select it from the top of the Tools toolbar. Use it to drag the content of a selection to a new location. You can transform, scale, deform and rotate your selection using the Deform tool. This tool is available from the Deform Tools flyout on the Tools toolbar. When you select it, you'll see a bounding box appear around your selection. Resize it by dragging on the corner handles. 
hold down the Shift key to maintain the aspect ratio. To rotate the selection, hover over the corner handles until the rotation handle appears, and then drag to make your rotation. Other selection tools on the Tools toolbar include the Magic Wand tool, which selects pixels of a similar colour. The Smart Selection brush lets you paint over areas you want to select. Finally, the Colour Pickup tool. With this tool, you can pick up colours in your image. Hover over your image to see a sample of the colour and click to select it. Left click makes the colour the foreground colour and right click the background colour. The colour tab will update to show your new colours. Well, that's all for this video. To find out more about PhotoPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.